Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer the question what is Moment 5? Every time we talk about moments um, there's always somebody that says what are moments? So it's the name that Microsoft gives to feature updates so new features that are packed into Windows 11. So Moment 5 is actually the last moment because starting from now on it'll be a one a year uh, once a year update at the uh, end of the year rather than small updates like moments that we've had. So we had five moments before things changed. Moment 5 is starting to roll out today and one of the things that you can do it's for seekers which means people that are not looking for it are not getting anything today. But people that go into the Windows updates will see that there's a Camilla preview update that's available. Uh, I've applied mine here, and it's the uh, update preview that you see here, KB5034848. Once again, a lot of people think update preview means it's not f a, a standard update. It's for insiders or it's a test. No, it's the weird way that Microsoft calls the bug fixing updates that we have each month. So it starts to roll in Moment 5. Not everybody has Moment 5 even if you install it. And even if you have some Moment 5 stuff, you won't have every feature. The update is in sequence, will actually appear officially for in the people that are on, um, you know, standard users on Pro and Home versions on the Patch Tuesday updates of March. We'll continue rolling out features until the bug fixing updates of March. And the official availability is stated to be April the 9th, which is Patch Tuesday for security updates on April 9th, 2024. How do you know if you have Moment 5? There's a few little things you can check. First of all, your co-pilot is on the right side of the screen at the bottom right in the taskbar. So it changes from the middle where it was here. And that removes, of course, the uh, famous little peak at desktop here. So if you want to change that, you can go into your taskbar settings. And in the taskbar settings, you can remove the copilot, first of all, here, which is where it is. And um, other system tray icons or taskbar behavior, you have stuff here that uh, you can check out. I don't know where the peak desktop peak is. It's in here or it's more in the taskbar behavior. And uh, we have uh, select the far corner of the taskbar to show desktop. So this is the peak. You can turn it on to have your peak at desktop back, even with Copilot, by the way. So you can click and you see I got the uh, back. And of course, like I said, you can also, uh, in the uh, first section here of personalization, remove Copilot, which is going to be gone from your taskbar if you don't want it there. So that's a few things you can do. Um, and it's interesting that I actually turned it on and the uh, taskbar preview isn't there. <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, the other things that you might see, for example, in the settings, now you will have a change. If you go into Bluetooth and devices, everything that has to do with phone link is now in a section called mobile devices. This is where it's going to happen, and this is where you can manage your devices uh, from the uh, different uh, Android phones that are available. And of course, you can uh, turn on the features to have your uh, PC being accessed in every way from your mobile devices. So you see here, these are pictures of cats and so on. So this is how all of the devices appear. And uh, yeah, continue. Here we go. And uh, here we go. So the devices will show up and will be, of course, managed through this. You can add new phones and all of that through here. Um, in the European Union, this is the big time where all of the uh, features for the, the, ban the management of apps, because there's the new rules there for removal of Edge, for example, and all of that. This is where everything is turned on for now. 
You will have also a few features for voice access that has more languages. Narrator now has more natural voices available also. You can now share more content with apps when you use the share icon. Uh, Windows will suggest to what device you can cast a screen. Uh, automatically, it's kind of an improved casting for those that had issues before or problems. If you're using apps, multiple apps, and you want to uh, put them or snap them together, Microsoft's AI feature of Copilot will actually help you snap in a certain way. It's going to actually uh, let you suggest to you ways that things can be snapped. And if you snap a lot of apps, uh, what's going to happen is that in the snap feature, there will be also a suggestion of, oh, well, you've used four apps in this configuration before. Do you want to use the same four apps? I'll open them for you. Making things a little better if you use the snap feature. And um, in Windows 365, uh, there will be powers, passwordless authentication and fast account switching that will be available. So these are some of the things of Moment 5. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.